Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is The Ocean Will Take Us, number four, uh, the second to last issue of the series. Uh, Rich Doik is the writer, Carlos Oliveres is the artist, Manuel Popo is the colorist, Dave Sharp is the letter. All right, so we know that uh, one of the group has been kidnapped. Um, she's being held by the cult, and her friends want to get her back. Uh, this is an issue that really starts kind of bringing it all together, like who's the cult leader, what are they worshipping, what's going on, what's the, the, what's the connection to the, uh, uh, the, like, the water plant or whatever you want to call it, the, the big, you know, tech place. Uh, that's all starting to kind of come together in this story. A lot of it doesn't surprise me in some of the reveals. Um, it's kind of going in the direction I thought it would. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's all done really, really well. There is a shocking moment in it, one that I was not expecting at all. Uh, that involves one of the kids. Uh, but overall, like this is kind of like the this is really getting the action going as we start to kind of wrap up the series. The mystery has been going on. They know all hell is uh, broken loose, or like all you know everything sideways. And uh, our little uh, Scooby gang wants to go solve the mystery and pull the masks off the bad guys. That's, that's where we're at. Uh, and go rescue their friend. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a f action filled uh, issue that's just really solid and like bringing it all together. I think the pacing on this one is so good. Um, the art is, is pretty solid. I think the only thing that bothers me is the, the size of the eye, the pupils on the eyes look somewhat weird on Elizabeth. Like, I think this was my only negative. I think Elizabeth just looked weird at times in this. Uh, and it's mostly her eyes. Um, but beyond that, like, I like the art style. I really like the dynamic poses and how everything looks. It's just, it's solid, solid stuff. Um, I you know, as I said, like, if you like Stranger Things, if you like Scooby-Doo, if you like Goonies, this is the type of the comic for you. It's, like, straight up that uh, with a nice little, nice little, uh, I'll say, H.P. Lovecraft vibe to it. Uh, and, of course, Evil Corporation. Um, I can't wait to see how this ends. I really want to see how this all comes together, and hopefully we'll get more down the road. Uh, this is out now in comic shops. So you can go get it. we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Or it'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so you'll get a small percentage by doing that to support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for hooking us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.